So, Danica, I presume as a former IndyCar and NASCAR driver, you know every circuit in the whole of the United States, do you? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know every circuit. I don't know this circuit. I don't know Austin. So, you're going to be my victim. You're a fast learner, I presume, <laughs> yeah? Um, I'm methodical, but let's put that to the test. Right, we had a taco two hours ago. No, you had a taco. <laughs> I, had, I had two, you had you one. You had two, I had one. Go gently on me. Breaking pretty early. You can break really late when you're going breaking uphill. I mean, you get an indication, don't you, of the, the elevation change on turn one, but then it's coming down into these S's. You kind of swoop down into them. You do. They're, 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 this is all about momentum and the handling of the car. And I think that, you know, especially in Formula One with like all the difference that you hear about ride height and all that. That's going to make a really big difference as to who rolls really well through the fast stuff and who doesn't. Um, this track has a really unique amount of fast and slow. So that whole section is just so fast and so sweeping. But then you have corners like, you know, this one, which are, you know, like pretty tight, right? Yeah, that was quite tight. And this, this one's... This is a pretty oh, flat oh, corner, so it. off I camera. Thought, I thought that was tight, but it should have been. Just a little. Tires are warm now. So tell me, the right, difference between an Indy car, a NASCAR, and a Formula One car in terms of lines that you take? I learned the hard way in a stock car. You can't um, turn in like an Indy car. Like here, I'm going to make my turning really wide, yeah. and then I'm going to clip, and then I'm going to straighten up up the exit. And in an, in a stock car, you can't do that. Like you can't. You, you have to get the car turned into the corner early. They're much heavier. There's a lot more, uh, a lot more car to move, so. Yeah. And of course, we're gonna see that with Daniel Ricciardo when he gets in Dale Earnhardt's top car. Oh, that'll, yeah. be big, that'll be a bit of a, a change for a running top I, car. I think he'll probably, he'll definitely be driving a different line. Oh, yeah, that's got more spoke. One more lap, we're in. One more lap, talk me round it. A lot of speed, wow. You can wow, really, really nice drive nice. in deep. I mean, this is a really wide open corner. It's gonna be, there's gonna be so much passing going into that corner. The start's gonna be crazy. Super sweeping corners here. Yeah. A lot of speed. A curb, quick little corner onto this back little short shoot. We call this a short shoot. Yeah. Off camber, left hand corner, straight away to a hard braking zone. Oh, Typical hairpin. On the exit. Down onto this back straightaway that's super long. Say hello to Billy Joel. Sing me a song, Mr. Kellerman. Yeah, all on the marbles. What is that sound? That's marble. Those are all marbles. There's 20 turns here, so. And lots of overtaking because of the hairpins, because of the long straights, too. This is a really tight section. Give There's going to be a lot of testing of power down and traction at this track. There's so many hairpins. <laughs> yes. Spike too. I think we finished right on time. We got it, we got it. That is a lot of fun. It's good to get back Sensei. in the saddle. Love it, great. You should do it sometime. <laughs>